within you. Power is the optimal combination of speed and strength to produce movement. By increasing either one, you can increase power. Increase both, and it gives you the maximum results in the shortest amount of time, creating explosive power. Hockey players, like many athletes, sometimes overtrain resulting in fatigue, decreased performance, and possibly injury. Working hard does not always ensure that you are achieving the most from your workouts. Gold in the Net will show you how to work smart. Using a combination of plyometrics, sprint resistance, and agility training, you can improve your speed and strength to give you more explosive power. Balance and agility is something that all goaltenders need to key on to better prepare themselves to harness the explosive power. We are using the Extreme Balance Board created by Firo Zayak. It is the most advanced and challenging balance board Gold in the Net has ever seen, where the body exhibits stability with agility, strength, and speed. This patented board is able to adjust to three different levels. The first level is for the beginner. It adjusts for the intermediate, and again for the advanced or expert level. Once you have gained balance on the board, we will begin by doing squats. Start from your ready position and slowly bend down, keeping your back straight. Only the knees should be bending down and then slowly move back up to your ready position. Begin with sets of 10 and work your way up to sets of 20. An advanced level would include five sets of 20. Balancing with one leg, here you want to make sure that the foot is in the middle of the board and that when first attempting this, you have something to catch yourself with should you happen to fall. The knee is slightly bent and the upper body is straight and not bent over. Alternating legs after 30 seconds for three to five minutes. Now we will rotate the board sideways. Balance with two feet together in the middle portion of the board. After becoming competent with both feet, begin balancing with only one foot, making sure that the foot is positioned in the middle of the board, the knee is slightly bent, and the upper body is kept straight alternating legs after 30 seconds for three to five minutes. We will be using a ball in the next series of exercises. It is recommended that you begin using a lightweight ball, such as a soccer ball or basketball. As you gain skill, a weighted medicine ball may be substituted. This will provide a greater challenge and will ensure that you are getting the maximum results from your workouts. While balancing with two feet on the board and in the ready position, Begin bouncing a ball side to side. Two hands should be used at all times and the ball should be bounced in a side to side manner and not straight up and down. A partner can be added to this drill. 